Okay. Uh, today our lesson is about the substitution effect and income effect of the fall in price of a normal good. Normal good we all know. What is a normal good? It is a good in which when income increases, the demand of that good will also increase. And it has a negative relationship with the price of the product as well. When price falls, its demand will also increase. Now the question is, when a good is becoming low price, or it, it is cheaper than another good, what is the consumer behavior? He or she will substitute the expensive good with that which is having low price. For example, food is becoming low price item than clothing. Do you think consumers will buy less of clothing and buy more of food? In other words, they are substituting clothing with food. This is called due to fall in price of a good, consumers are substituting one good with another. So it is called substitution effect. And we will see it in the diagram by using a difference curve and budget diagram. And what is the income effect? Income effect is that, please be attentive now. Income effect is that when price of a good is decreasing, although, although nominal income of consumer hasn't changed, he is having the same amount of money in his pocket to buy the goods, but due to decreasing price of the product, his real income will increase. It happens or not? Purchasing power of money will increase our consumer is now able to buy more in real terms. So when he is buying more of a good due to increase in his real income, that is called income effect of decreasing price. There can be two effects due to change in price of the product. One is called substitution effect, another is called what? The income effect. I would rather say the movement along the indifference curve, we had drawn the indifference curve, that will show us substitution effect. Substitution is made along the indifference curve. Whereas when consumer shifts from one indifference curve to another, that will show us income effect. And all these things I am going to do in the diagram by using budget line and indifference curve. So here, these are the two goods which we are going to buy, good as, good buy. This is our budget line. And budget line shows what? The affordability of consumer within given income and the price of the two goods X and Y. Now, this is the consumer's equilibrium. This is what the consumer equilibrium point where the budget line of consumer is making a tendency condition with the highest attainable indifference curve. This is called the optimum bundle. Optimum bundle which is consumed by the consumer. The quantities of X and Y where total satisfaction of consumer is maximized within given income and the prices of goods. Clear? Now I am going to decrease price of X. Price of X decreases. What happens to this budget line of the consumer? It will have pivotal shift towards right. It will have this shift. Than before. So there is another indifference curve which is present for the consumer. You can say I am writing it E3 because I have to show E2 below this level. So here consumer will buy this quantity 
Expansion effect is positive. Income effect is also positive. So this good is called a normal good where it has both effects. They are positive. They are moving in same direction. When price falls, he is increasing the consumption of X due to substitution effect and due to increasing the real income of the consumer. So when both effects are positive, we say this good is a normal. Clear? So its demand curve will be quantity of X and price of X. It will be like this. It is normal slope which we had derived yesterday or in our previous lesson. The demand curve will be a downward slope. Power? Clear?